Hello Scapers, NetHP here, and in today's video, we are doing a level 3 guide over one of my favorite skills, thieving. Now, with the new release of Safe Cracking, Skillers now have not only a new best method for thieving XP, but it also allows Skillers to avoid any combat risk from Pyramid Plunder. So now, I personally can finally go for that 120 thieving cake, now that Dwarf Traders are no longer accessible to the Skiller community. Now before we begin, I would just like to give a huge thank you to my friend Theodore. Without his help and many hours of research into safe cracking, this guide would not have been possible. So many thanks to Theodore, you freaking rock my good sir. And with that, let's jump into the video. Now, to begin thieving, you are going to start with Pompous Merchants until level 5, which will take 49 pickpockets to obtain, and they are located at Taverly Lodestone. For levels 5 through 15 thieving, you are going to do Bakery Stalls. This will take 127 pickpockets from the stalls, and they are located in East Art Island. For levels 15 through 41 thieving, you will want to do the Thieves Guild Cell Doors. This requires part one of the Buyers and Sellers quest, and is obviously located in the Thieving Guild. Until you reach level 35 Thieving, you can only pick the locks on the top three cell doors, which gives approximately 55 to 60k XP an hour. At level 35, you can pick lock all six cell doors for approximately 75 through 80k XP an hour. It's important to note that you only open the doors, not the chest inside of them, for the best XP method. After you have opened all six cell doors, simply hop worlds and repeat. For levels 41 through 62 thieving, you are going to want to do Pyramid Plunder. This requires the Pharaoh Scepter to teleport inside Sophonim. Pyramid Plunder is also a really good method because the urns have a chance of dropping the 4 pieces of the Ibis set that give 1% extra thieving XP per piece and 5% when all 4 are equipped. You also have the chance of receiving a Pharaoh Scepter, and if you are extremely lucky, the Scepter of the Gods. So once you have obtained your Pharaoh Scepter, which can be bought from the GE for about 1.3 mil, you're going to use this top option right here. So once you click that, this is the only way to have access to Pyramid Plunder for level 3 skillers. And this is the guy you talked to for the minigame, however to recharge your scepter, you're going to click on that, and you either need 6 gold pieces, 12 stone pieces, or 24 pottery pieces. So we're going to begin the game, and now we're on double speed. Um, each level will have this. So click on that to pass through it, and then there's going to be a trap door, four of them for each area. And so only one will give you access to the next floor. And then obviously go past this door again and continue until you have reached le the level 41 floor. And these will go up every 10 levels, so 21, 31, 41, etc. And you're going to click these once you reach 41. You have the option to right click to check for snakes, but you really don't need to at this level. So just keep clicking it. If the snake bites you, just keep clicking it until it obviously opens up and gives you XP. And you're going to need to avoid this sarcophagus. This has ruined many skillers, but it will give you strength, XP, and a combat level. So after you've looted everyone, we're just going to go through this fast. You click the center. Um, be careful if scarabs obviously come out, but not too, too dangerous if you have food with you. Which I honestly like to use the candy sweets because they stack, give me room to have more room for pieces that I need to recharge. And obviously just continue looting and eat those sweets whenever, or trout, or whatever you can afford. And you're going to be able to loot two rooms at max at this level, so once you reach your first one, 41, you're just going to loot floor 41 all the way through. But after that, loot 51 and 41. So loot 41 all the way, then 51 with the timer remaining, because as you can see, that timer is going down over 5 minutes, which is how much time you have to plunder. It's also important to set any auras you have. This is for all thieving. So all thieving method methods use, use auras to benefit. And then click the center, and you can always quick leave the dungeon if you're ever worried for your health. After that, simply drop all the pieces that you do not need and repeat. Now there are going to be four options to get into. Every time you're going to spawn at the nor northern door. So click those and the mummy will be within one side of them or you can use your scepter to teleport to them once again. 
Now, lastly, for levels 62 through 99 thieving, you'll want to use the new method, safe cracking, which requires all four parts of the buyer's and seller's quests in order to unlock and speak with the safe cracking trainer. You may speak with him in the Thieves Guild to obtain your stethoscope and small loot bag. This bag will be used to fill with loot and should be upgraded when you obtain enough pilfer points for max XP gains. Each save takes 5 minutes to respawn after being unlocked completely and there are currently 5 safe locations that skillers will use which we will be going over each location now. So once you have obtained your stethoscope and your loot bag, you're going to head to your first location located on the second floor of Rodex's house. Now to begin safe cracking, you simply click on the safe and there's going to be a blue pulse from your character using the stethoscope when he hears it going past the dial. And as you can see, the blue appeared, but nothing happened. And that's because it only has a chance of opening it unless you click on it right away when it's pulsing like that. And if you click on it, you'll see one out of three locks complete or you can just leave it in AFK. This will be more useful at higher levels as you will not be moving safe to safe. So if I leave it like that, as you see, only has a chance to work. And once all three dials are unlocked, you have unlocked the safe. So on the second one, once it's ready, click two out of three dials. And then after one more, you will open the safe and move on to your next location. Now we will go over the safe cracking routes that players must loop for the most efficient XP from level 62 thieving until they can access the wilderness safes at level 91 thieving. I have created these maps for all five routes and the most efficient ways to go about taking them, so please feel free to use these as a reference for any safes that you may have missed. From level 62 through 69 thieving, you are going to use the mist all in safes. Start by looting the first floor of Rodex's house in Lumbridge, then run south to the first floor of Bob's house in Lumbridge and loot that safe. Then use your Wicked Hood to teleport to the Wizard Tower and descend the beam once to loot the two safes on that floor. Then use Drainer Lodestone and run north to Drainer Manor and go into the west room where two safes are located. After you have looted those, then use the Varrock Lodestone or a Varrock Teletab and go to the second floor of the Varrock Palace and loot the three safes in the treasury. This will give you approximately 275 through 350k thieving XP an hour. For level 69 through 76 thieving, you want to use the Caridian Desert safes. Start by looting the two safes by Alcared Lodestone. Run south to the Carpet Teleport and travel to North Pali to loot that safe. Then use the Carpet Teleport to travel to Narda. After looting both safes, take the lodestone to Metafoss and run north to loot the two in the Merchant District, and then use the Shifting Tombs to teleport to the Imperial District and loot the two safes there. This will give you approximately 350k through 425k XP in thieving an hour. For 76 to 83 thieving, you will want to do the Asgarnia safes. Begin at Birthrip Lodestone. Run north to Birth Castle and loot the two safes on the roof. Then take the lodestone to Port Serum and loot the safes in the top floor of the jewelry store and Brian's house. Then take the Faldor lodestone and loot the four safes there, going in order from Winston's garden house on the first floor of the north house from the fountain, then the second floor of the house east of the fountain, and lastly, run southwest to the building by the mining guild and loot that safe. This will grant you approximately 400 through 500k XP an hour in thieving. From levels 83 through 90 thieving, you will want to use the Kandaran safes. Start at the Seer's Lodestone and run south to Camelot Castle. After looting, take the Yanel Lodestone and loot the two safes there. One in the southern wall next to the Lodestone and the other next to the pub on the first floor. After that, take the Ardon Lodestone and run west across the log to loot the safe in Jimmy Dazzler's house. Then run south and loot the two safes in Artie Castle on the first floor. After this, run east to the house west of the silk store to loot that safe and then run to the house north north of the market and loot the safes on the first floor. This will give you approximately 450 through 550k thieving XP per hour. And lastly, 91 through 120 thieving, you're going to be doing the Willy Rogue Castle saves. While this method may only be around 50k more XP per hour, you get to stay in one location, making this skill a lot less tedious and extremely AFKable if a player chooses to ignore safe ticks. 
During a movie marathon, I was able to gain 4.6 million XP within 8 hours, with minimal time looking at my screen. The only problem is getting to this location safely. To get to this location, you must first go just southeast of the Wilderness Lodestone to the Obelisk located in level 13 Wilderness. An Obelisk is used to teleport you at random to any of the other Obelisks throughout the Wilderness shown on this map. You want to continue clicking on the Obelisk until you are teleported to the level 50 Obelisk. Once you are there, it is important to stay on guard as a level 305 Chaos Elemental circles around the area. So you may want to have escape pressed and be ready to log out to the lobby if you spot one. Once you make it safely into the rogues castle, go to the second floor and enter into the east room. Loot those three safes until your loot bag is full and then use the obelisk to teleport out once done. Once on the first floor, stay in the castle until you have looked around outside for the chaos elemental before making a run for the obelisk again. Obviously, with the risk of dying, be sure not to carry any extra items that you can't afford to risk losing. Both the Ibis and Camouflage outfits are kept on death automatically, but your loot bag will not be saved if something of greater value is above it, making you have to start over with a small loot bag, which trust me, you definitely do not want to have happen. So be sure to check before entering the wilderness. The bigger the loot bag, the longer you can stay out safe cracking for maximal XP gains. This final method gives 500 to 600k thieving XP per hour. This method is the best thieving experience to date for skillers all the way to 200 mil XP, and with 91 plus safes being AFKable, we really could not ask for much more from this update. And there you have it. I hope you guys found this guide helpful and best of luck on your goals. Be sure to let me know your guys' current thieving levels and goals below in the comments. Thanks again to Fyodor for all of your research. Until next time, 9HP out.